This is a lab where we're going to study the reaction order and the rate laws and we're going to be mixing the chemicals that you see listed there at the top uh, in different concentrations and finding how concentration it affects the uh, rate of a reaction. Uh, if you look at your sheet, you'll notice that in the pre-lab, I've already prepared a lot of this for you. Uh, we have labeled one of the beakers with uh, HCl for hydrochloric acid. We've added um, approximately 30 milliliters of 1.0 molar hydrochloric acid uh, to the beaker. Then uh, we've taken another beaker and we've uh, labeled it Na2S2O3 and we poured in 30 milliliters of 0 0.30 molar sodium thiosulfate uh, into that beaker. And then we have a third beaker that we filled with water and we put in approximately 25 milliliters of distilled water. And then we have this uh, sheet of paper underneath the all of this. And uh, under each of the wells, this uh, is a six well uh, reaction chamber. And uh, underneath each of these six wells, uh, I have placed a black X. And that will become obvious what's the purpose of the black X uh, as we do our experiment. So the first thing that we will do uh, as we do our experiment is uh, we're going to fill each of these three wells uh, first with uh, hydrochloric acid. Uh, and the hydrochloric acid is going to be in varying amounts. And then we'll add the sodium thiosulfate uh, later. So the first thing in uh, this, uh, we're starting out like with step five. I'm going to fill a three millimeter or milliliter, I should say, syringe. I'm going to fill the three milliliter syringe up to the two milliliter mark with distilled water. I'm going to stick it down in here and draw it up to the two millimeter. So right now I have two milliliters of uh, water in there. Then I'm going to uh, put it down in the hydrochloric acid. I'm going to fill it up to the three millime uh, milliliter mark. So that means I'll have added one milliliter of HCl. And I'm going to place, empty that into uh, well number three. So I'm putting that here into well number three. Then uh, to continue on, fill wells two and one into well two. I'm going to fill it up uh, with distilled water, but only to the one and a half milliliter mark. Okay, and then I'm going to stick it into the hydrochloric acid and then draw it up all the way to the three milliliter mark. And I'm going to empty that one into well two. And then for the last one, uh, we're not going to use any distilled water. We're going to just use straight uh, hydrochloric acid, no water, just straight uh, Hydro, uh, hydrochloric acid. So it's going to have three milliliters of hydrochloric acid. And we'll put that down in well one.
Okay, then uh, I'm going to rinse out my uh, syringe and we will uh, start. Now that I've rinsed the uh, syringe with water, made sure it's all clean, I'm going to fill this same uh, three milliliter syringe to the two milliliter mark with uh, sodium thiosulfate solution. And at this time, uh, you may want to pause the, the video to make sure that you have some timing device. This could be a stopwatch if you happen to own one, or it could be a stopwatch on your cell phone. Um, either one would work fine. And uh, after I have my syringe filled to the two millimeter mark with sodium thiosulfate, I'm going to uh, empty that syringe into well number one. And you, as soon as I have emptied it in it, you're going to start timing the reaction with your stopwatch or your timer. And you're going to measure the time from which the solution was added until that black X that you see in well one, you can no longer see it through the solution. You get to decide when that point is. But as long as you do it the same in every one of these reactions, you're going to be fine. Uh, so I'm going to, first of all, fill my uh, syringe up to the two millimeter mark. Okay, I have it filled. And if you have your timer ready, I'm going to empty it into uh, well number one. You kind of notice how it's starting to get uh, kind of cloudy. I think most of you probably would have uh, concluded that uh, that black X has disappeared. Okay, now we're going to add two more uh, milliliters to uh, the second well. So I'll fill my syringe up to the two millimeter mark. Okay, if your timing device is ready, I'm going to uh, add it. While this is going, I just want to remind you, I hope that you had recorded your first time in uh, your data table for trial one.
think most of you probably would have concluded that it is uh, probably has disappeared. Now let's do uh, trial three. Re be sure you re uh, write uh, the time for this uh, for well two. Uh, put that in your data table. Okay, now we'll do the last well. Again, filled up to the two milliliter mark. Okay, if you're ready, I'm going to begin. Okay, so we'll uh, stop here. We're going to pause our video and I'm going to uh, put in the initial amounts of hydrochloric acid into wells four, five, and six, and then we will resume. Okay, we've set up wells four, five, and six. Uh, well, six is the same as three. Well, five is going to be the same as two. And well, four is the same as one in the initial amounts of hydrochloric acid that we have in each of those wells. Now I'm going to add uh, two milliliters of sodium thiosulfate to each of these, one at a time. So if you can get your timer ready. And we're going to put, start with well four first of all.
Okay, I'm going to assume that you uh, found the end of that. Uh, record this uh, data into your data table. Okay, we'll do uh, well number five with uh, two milliliters of sodium thiosulfate. Okay, again, we'll assume that you have uh, reached the end point. And then we'll do this once again for well six. Is your timer ready?
Okay, we'll assume that you have reached the end point of that one. Uh, make sure you record your uh, time in the data table. And at this point, we're going to uh, be emptying our reaction plate and getting it all set up so that uh, we can do the part B. Now we're going to do the second part of our uh, experiment. And we have already prepared these wells. In uh, well one, we have just three milliliters of sodium thiosulfate. In well two, it's half and half with sodium thiosulfate and water. And in the third well, we have one milliliter of sodium thiosulfate and two milliliters of water. And uh, we're what we're going to be doing in this one, we're going to be filling our uh, syringe up to the two milliliter mark with hydrochloric acid. So this time, the hydrochloric acid is going to be the same, but we have different concentrations of sodium thiosulfate. So it'll be two milliliters in each of these. Okay, we'll start with uh, well one. Begin your timer. Okay, so we'll assume that you reached the end point on that one. Now we're going to add two milliliters of HCl to the second well, well number two. Timer ready.
Okay, again, we'll assume that you reached the end point on that one. And now we'll add two more milliliters to well number three. You're ready with your timer.
Okay, we'll assume that you reached the end point on that one. So what we'll do is we're going to uh, get wells 4, 5, and 6 ready to go, and then we'll start up again. Okay, now we're going to start uh, trial 2 with wells 4, 5, and 6. Okay, we're going to put into uh, well 4, again, our 2 milliliters of HCl. Okay, is your timer ready? We will put it into four. Okay, assuming that you've reached the end point of this one, record your data. Okay, fill up our syringe again. Okay, your timer ready.
Okay, we'll assume that you again reach your endpoint. And now let's do uh, two more milliliters of HCl in our final well. Okay, I hope you recorded your data in the data table. And here is our final well.
We'll let it run here maybe like for one more minute if you still haven't reached your end point. If you have, you're great. Okay, record your final uh, time in your data table. So this brings us to the end of our lab of uh, gathering our data. You are now ready to begin the post lab, which is on the back side or on the page after your data table. It gives you the instructions on how to fill out the rest of your data table and ultimately to calculate the rate law for this uh, chemical reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium thiosulfate.